Hi guys, Kelvin here. Welcome back to the Bitstripe channel. Today I have an interesting health lifestyle product to share with you that is all related to hydration and basically to remind you to drink often, to track the amount of beverages you drink and also to check the quality of beverages that you drink. Meet the Water Hitch Smart Bottle right here. It features an all-in-one water tracker reminder analyzer and basically makes hydration easy. Let's jump into it. It has a premium look with all this groove slanted, help you with the hand grip and finger placement regardless if you're using bare hands or with glove. It is way taller than the typical 500ml water bottle and versus a venti Starbucks cup in Malaysia, this is the size difference right here and versus my Sony 70 200 f4 lens right here you can see the size is significantly tall the reason why is because on the bottom right here it houses all the necessary gadgetry on the bottom right here all the sensors the wireless charging and the 360 notification and not to mention a bigger ticker lid which i prefer and my lid type is the flip up straw type so aside from that i'm not sure whether you can pick up on camera but this has a smooth powder coated matte finish on the surface right here so when you hold it it does not feel very plasticky it feels very you know like a, like metal but it's not metal it give you that premium vibe to it it comes in several color options like ivory white like you're seeing right now it comes in seashell blue magnetite blue as well as different types of uh, bottle lid that you prefer between a screw lid or the flip lid plus straw that i just show you so there's also this integrated strap right here where you can use your fingers and just carry around your water bottle for added support or just hook it up with a carabiner so you can put it around your backpack or your waist pocket up to you as we unscrew the lid right here so you can see that the silicone seal is very thick it's easy to pry open with a knife or a fork so you can clean it easily even a straw right here pops out easily so you can actually brush it in and out and just put it back dry it and you're good to go now looking at the main bottle right here so as we zoom in and i focus you can see the three little dot right here that is the sensor right smack in the middle right here so that is how it tracks your water level and also the water quality now this is literally a flask a water bottle flask right here it has a medical grade stainless steel with double insulated wall to help retain heat for hot beverages up to 12 hours or cold beverages up to 24 hours it is bpa and plastic free so you won't get any toxication from those classic you know milk bottles that we have in the kit sadly that time our you know science is not catch up but jokes aside and you know history aside this water bottle right here can hold up to 530 milliliter capacity for americans that's about 18 ounce and based on my configuration using this right here the bottle stands about 24 cm tall and the total weight is about 282 grams emptied so yeah so let's talk about the tds sensor TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solid. It helps you to measure the amount of inorganic or organic substance in the water. If that sounds confusing, it means whether or not your water is clean from a known or unknown source of water. The lower the number, the better theoretically. Now, it also can be used for sports people who adds minerals and electrolytes into their drinks. It's also a way to track their daily recommended TDS intake based on doctors and medical recommendation. Now, again, uh, when I test this water bottle right here, if I use distilled water, it shows a TDS rating of zero, which is accurate. And when I use um, different company mineral waters like Avian, Spritzer, and other Malaysian uh, mineral water brands, the readings can be vary between 45 TDS to 78 TDS, so different on uh, the sources. So the TDS sensor right here is tested for 99% accuracy and it has a lifespan for about 3 years. So by then, it's time to change the water bottle, water hitch should have already new technology, new sensors, etc. Just change it after 3 years. Now again, the water bottle right here it is not dishwasher safe uh, cleaning. It can affect the sensor so just use a typical soft brush light soap water and water to clean the insides which i do after i test with aquarium water so yeah 
Next is the LED notification that glows around the bottle right here. To activate the LED notification, it's basically just plop the bottle to any flat surface, give it a couple of seconds and it will show you a few different colours. Now to see the different colours that glow on the bottom of the bottle, just remember three different colours. Red means low battery, green means is fully charged, it's ready to go. Blue is where they will give you the reminder based on how much time you set it in the app as well as the pairing sequence. So basically when you plop the bottle vertically onto any surface, that blue ring basically sends information to your phone app to record your TDS levels, your water levels and also the battery uh, levels as well. In the app, you can see your daily consumption, set the goal that you want to achieve and let's say if you have drink beverages outside of the bottle, you can include them with the plus icon, set the beverage type and the drink amount that you have consumed. Next is basically if you want to add multiple bottles, you can do so with the top right icon or the bottom left icon right here. Here you can actually add more bottles and you can rename each bottles. Let's say if you have multiple family members like kids, cousin and parents or your loved ones, you can even edit each bottle name with the pencil icon and sh see everyone's stats like you know the TDS reading, the volume as well as the percentage right here. But you only can set one bottle of the stats to be shown at the home page with this slider icon right here. So as we go back, we can see all the stats on the bottom right here. You can see the TDS reading, whether the water quality is excellent or not, and you can see the amount in parts per million. So 43 is considered clean or you know good. Here you can see your volume of water right here in terms of percentage, because in this bottle right here, there is a water intake sensor that measures the beverages fill and the consumption uh, taken or consumed. The sensor right here has a 95% plus accuracy reading. That's what water H rates it for. Aside from that, you can see your battery life and the last sync timestamp right here. As we go to the history right here, you can see a lot more statistic for those people who wants to get this kind of bottle right here. So it shows you your daily consumption use like how, what time, what's the TDS, what's the quantity for each day. I go back one more day, you can see all the amount that I have drink. In short bursts, you can see in month, you can also see in year. So this is good for people who just want to track their consumption, whether they just drink a lot of water or stay hydrated. Aside from that, you have your achievement page right here, which I have not achieved anything because I'm drinking very sparingly or using it you know just as an office bottle right here aside from that your settings and profile right here is set on the last page right here you can actually change your units metrics or imperial set your bio information and your goals and basically a pretty simple app the battery life is surprisingly good based on what I'm seeing in the app right here. It takes about 3 to 5% per day depending on my usage once more because I'm using it sparingly as my office water bottle. So averagely about 10 times per day based on my consumption right here that I'm looking. And uh, based on my first round of charging this bottle from 100% to 0% and based on the history on the month that I started in May 20th till now, about 23 days it lasted till the bottle hits 0% battery life till I need the next charge and that's surprisingly amazing because uh, water hitch rates the water bottle right here to have a battery life about 10 days that is likely for serious health focused users who's constantly you know uh, checking their beverages refilling their beverages drinking maybe 20 to 30 times per day checking the app connecting to the app regularly I rarely do that that's why my battery life is twice more so again it depends on your consumption that will detect your battery life. Now aside from that, charging the bottle is amazingly easy. Basically, they provide you this cable right here, a type A to type C cable right here, and a very amazing wireless charging pad that is so beautiful that just looks like a decoration right here. So basically, you can actually use other wireless charging pad to charge your water bottle but this is a bit better because it has the groove so the bottle actually stays into position and does not get knocked off easily. So you can also charge the bottle into other wireless pad. You can also charge your smartphone or your earbuds case on this wireless pad right here that just looks amazing. 
So here's a summary, the Water H Smart Bottle is not a gimmick product, it's a proper health lifestyle product that keeps track of your daily consumption as well as the quality of beverages that you're drinking. Specifically, if you're a person living in Southeast Asia like I do, tap waters, even you boil them, is still a question mark. So in terms of battery life, I would say the bottle has been good to me. At 100% charge, it lasts me more than 2 weeks. Again, because I'm using this as my office water bottle, so the sips per day is about 10 to 15 and the refill is about maybe 2 times or 3 times max. Unlike someone who may want to track throughout the day, refill several times, you know, have maybe 30 to 80 sips per day. So the battery life is also dependent on the level of consumption that you're using on the bottle right here. But you do not have charge anxiety for two reasons. Unlike other smart bottles in the past or in the market, you have to plug a USB-C directly to the bottle so you have charge anxiety. Number two, this one supports wireless charging pad. So on a daily basis, you know, plop on a wireless charging pad for about 5 to 15 minutes, just keep the battery juice up and you're good to go. Next is the water intake sensor right here. I would say it has an accuracy reading about 90%. So I have my Pyrex glass and it fills about 400 milliliter. I pop it into the water bottle, take a sip. You know, when it's empty, I pop another 400 milliliter and I actually measure how much uh, water is reading. So I will say the accuracy reading is about 90%. You will never get 100% reading for the water intake part. That is fine. And let's say if you don't hit your water goals or hydration goals per day, you know, drink more water, you'll be fine, you will not die. Next and more importantly is TDS reading. Now I do have knowledge about TDS reading because I have a TDS pen as well as two aquascapes uh, in my other room. So TDS is a way to um, check how much minerals in the water and for aquarium tank, too much minerals can just cause an imbalance in the biosystem itself. The fish may have too much ammonia, they die. The water has too much uh, phosphor or phosphate and basically algae broom. Everyone's oxygen gets cut off, everyone dies. So you want to maintain a proper TDS reading and for my tanks, my a 120p tank and one uh, 160p tank right there uh, has to maintain a TDS reading about 90 to 110 maximum. So what I usually do is when I every two months I flush out the aquarium water and refill the new water. I actually don't use tap water. I use distilled water because t distilled water has a TDS reading of zero parts per million. That's where I can control the minerals add by fertilizers or you know minerals into the water till I reach that proper TDS reading. And my preferred Water of choice for distilled water is this brand called Spritzer in Malaysia right here. So what I did is I poured some of that water into the water bottle and also a Pyrex glass to use my TDS pen. I know the TDS pen is never going to be accurate. So water bottle shows a PPM reading of 0 whereas the TDS pen shows 5. So I already know that this is much more accurate than the pen because this pen is just a cheap average reader. So I shared this uh, idea with my friend. My friend said, hey, put some aquarium water and test the TDS reading. Of course, I won't do that. That's for health reasons. I don't want to drink in any bacteria or ammonia or amobe that eats my brain. So I didn't do that. But my friend suggested me to try another distilled uh, water brand that is uh, questionable. So another brand that I'm near is cheaper. It's called Cactus right here. As you can see, it's a full bottle still. So I actually poured this new brand distilled water into the water bottle. It shows a PPM reading constantly zero. So I can maybe save cost and use the cheaper brand next time for my tank. But when I use the TDS pen, it's supposed to be five or under. It shows eight. So I already know my TDS pen is not accurate. The water bottle is much more accurate. And I'm appreciative of that. Obviously, it's just for test. I'm not going to drink my aquarium water. So what do I think about this water bottle right here? Now, if you're a person that actually needs to track your daily consumption, the quality of beverages, and if you're a sports buff or a sports person that adds minerals into your water, maybe iron, vitamin C, etc. to control the TDS reading so you don't over you know mineralize yourself give it a shot right here it's good for an average joe like me yeah it's a fun fun way to just keep healthy i would recommend it uh, price is a little bit on the premium side but it has that features and the app that makes it so convenient to track all the little data so links to purchase can be found in the video description 
Remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment below what other sports weird products I should review next and question myself whether I should get it. Till then, thank you for, so for watching this uh, video. Purchase links can be found in the video description. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.